Memes here and welcome back. Last video, I created an Ubuntu virtual machine using VirtualBox. Today's video is going to be similar, except I will be creating a CentOS virtual machine in VirtualBox. As I go through my notes, I want to play with various distributions. So for Debian distribution, I installed Ubuntu, and for Red Hat distribution, I'm going to install CentOS. Now, I know there are tons more Linux options that I can dive into in the future, but for now, I'm going to stick with these two. So let's jump in and install CentOS virtual environment in VirtualBox. All right, so I gave you guys this info in the last Ubuntu video, but I will restate for anyone who missed it. So this is VirtualBox. It's a free Oracle software. VirtualBox works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So as long as your device meets the standard requirements, you are free to use it. Here is the Ubuntu VM that we created last week. So let's add a friend for it. Let's hit next. I'm going to name this one Memes CentOS Study Lab. As you can see, again, it chose Linux for me and Red Hat. Really quick, here are other Linux options that we can play with later, but for now we're doing Red Hat next. We're gonna keep the memory size the same. As I said before, this is only for study purposes. I don't need it to be super hyped up, so let's hit next. All right, here I'm gonna choose create a virtual hard disk now. If you had an existing one and you wanted to just migrate it here, you can choose this one. Here are more options. We're gonna choose the first one, the VDI, but you have other options to choose if you need it. So let's hit next. All right, we're gonna choose dynamic. We're gonna keep all this the same and hit create. So now you can see there are two instances. One is the Ubuntu and the one is the one we just created, which is CentOS. Really quick, here are the configurations that we set. If you ever wanted to look more in depth or change anything, you need to power it off and then you can go through uh, the settings here, or you can hover over it, right click, and here are some of the controls. Let's start this guy up and mount that ISO. So let's hit start. All right, so here we're gonna browse. This is the one from last week. So let's hit browse, and I already attached it here. We just have to choose it. So there we go. Now we're looking at CentOS and we're gonna start. Another way, if that doesn't open, you can always go to device, you can go to optical drive and then choose it that way. Same thing. All right, so here we're going to install Cent. All right, so I'm gonna let it do its thing, grab some coffee. Cool, that was pretty fast. All right, we're gonna keep it at English. Here, we're gonna choose the date really quick. We're not in New York. Let's see, we're in Los Angeles, so. When you click in here, it's kind of hard to get out of the box. All you have to do is hit the right control and then you can exit out. So let me close these. These bother me. All right, I'm getting back in. There we go. Okay, so language is good. We're gonna hit installation source, which I already mounted it, but you have to verify. So let's hit verify. It's just gonna run through really quick, make sure it's the right one before we continue and everything breaks. All right, cool. It says this media is good to install, so let's hit done and done. All right, so now we're gonna go to destination and I'm gonna choose this first one and we're gonna hit done. So this should activate this button, exactly. So now we are ready to install. So here, let's choose a root password. All right, I put this one in and I added it to my key pass. It does say week. Uh, so if you're working on something like production, keep, don't keep it at week, make it a real uh, password, but this is just for me. So I'm gonna hit done. Note that if you have a week password, you have to hit done twice. So one, two, cool. All right, let's create a user here. All right, so I created a user, I made it admin, and I already saved this password, so we can hit done. And it's just about ready to finish. It's in post-installation, so we'll give it a second. All right, it's up. Let's go ahead and type in the user. Awesome, let's do a sudo. Cool, so now we're in roots. So I'm gonna start both VMs really quick. Let me get out of here, <laughs> here we go. And uh, you can just see them side by side. All right, so we have both instances. This one is Ubuntu, this one is CentOS, but they're both command line, so that works for me. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Linux tutorials are brewing, so stay tuned. Bye for now.